Hello everyone, welcome back aboard the VSS Plague as we travel across space in the Federation Cruiser Part uh, Class B. Here we go, we made it to Sector 2, just starting it, let's see what we have here. If you want to find out what happened previously, make sure you watch the previous episode. Let's jump down this way, I think, we'll come, mm, I don't know, hmm, we can come through here, but I can't get over this side. It would be nice to be able to sweep up this way. There's so much nebula though, I hate nebulas. Taking the direct path is very bad, so we're going to go around the side, I think. We'll take this distress beacon, hopefully we'll be able to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, maybe, without getting caught. So I'd like to go to the distress beacon, so let's see what we have here. Once we arrive at the location of the distress call, a civilian ship hails us. Thanks for responding to our beacon. Our FTL navigation has gone haywire, and we can't plot a course to the nearest depot to get it fixed. Could you lead us there? Of course we can! We'll lead you to your destination. Take this bit of scrap as a down payment. We'll use your jump signatures to follow you. You're really helping us out here. We have 15 scrap. Now, this quest is almost always a trap. Oh no, they're leading me in the wrong direction. Okay, I'll do it. Well, occasionally they do just give you free things. But we'll see. I don't have high hopes. Oh, it was for just free things. Shortly after we arrive, the ship we were escorting jumps nearby. They thank you for our help and offer us a reward. Three fuel, one drone part, and 29 scrap. Thank you very much. I'll take it. Even if you did bring me off course by a fairly large amount. Hmm. No. I don't want to backtrack, because if I backtrack, it'll take me too long to get out of this area. Hopefully I'll be able to make that jump, and then I'll be able to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 at least. Maybe not quite as good, but should be better than nothing. Let's see what happens. There's a ship with pirate marketings orbiting the nearby planet. We receive his hail. Anything is possible for the right price. We can hire him to delay the rebels, hire him to scout around and give us a map, but I don't feel like giving him money. I'm gonna fight him and take his money. Hello. Mercenaries are worse than rebels. The only honorable course is to engage the mercenary in battle. Very nice. They have a two-man crew, they've got an EMP and a rocket. This basically makes the EMP useless, because they have nothing they can get through my shields anyway. The rocket's the only thing I have to worry about, so I'm gonna see if I can just punch through the shields with my rocket or my lasers and take that missile launcher out. Because without that, they can't do much to me. Here we go. Can I hit it before they launch? No, just after they launch, unfortunately. And they take my oxygen out again. Man, these people hate my oxygen. This slug is going to get really good at fixing damages to the oxygen supply. The well-trained engineering leprosy slug. Alright, they're both in there. If we can hit them now, we might actually be able to kill the crew. Which would be pretty cool. I'm going to keep punching this room until we find out if they're dead or not. Especially since those rockets only do one damage, this is a great way to actually damage the crew without ruining everything. Uh, they want to surrender, eh? I don't know if I want their surrender. Their surrender is only 12 scrap, 2 fuel, and drone part. If I can kill that crew off without actually destroying the ship, we get a great deal of stuff. So I'm not going to accept surrender. We're going to try and kill them. They have no med bay, so they can't heal. So we're going to hit them with another rocket. Oh no, no, no! Artillery beam, I should have turned you off. Ah, well. The idea was good. Just in practice, it didn't wind up working. But you know what? We got some good stuff anyway. We didn't need the fuel. We got two missiles, a drone part, and 16 scrap. Not bad. We have 60 lying around. We should probably put some of it to good use. It might actually be worthwhile upgrading our oxygen supply, because honestly, it keeps getting smashed in the face, and if we had it, you know, not be dead after taking a hit, that'd be nice. But... I think I'd rather put my energy into something a little bit more productive for me. So I'm going to put some energy into engines, and a power bar to power those engines. Soon we're going to start powering up our artillery beam, because that's the next choice. But I want a little bit more evasion, because every rocket that comes our way has been hitting us, so I want to try and avoid that if possible. From here on out, we're probably going to power up our artillery beam to be really devastating. So let's see. Oh, fantastic. I can make that jump. Let's jump across this way, pick up some more loot. Oh, selling drone parts. Even better. Free money. We see a civilian space station with heavy damage. We receive a message. We've been hit hard by the war. We need more drone parts to speed up our repairs. We'll buy some from you if you have extra. Well, this is fantastic. I will sell you six drone parts for 24 scrap in a jiffy, because I have no nothing that can use those drone parts, and you, I could, blah, rather I could easily use the money. A little bit more and we'll be able to upgrade. Oh, there's two stores back there. I'm not going back. A little bit more and we'll be able to upgrade. Uh, let's see, do I want to go here, 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 here? 
Yeah, I think so. We don't need those doors because I want to hold on to that money to upgrade my artillery beam. We'll see what we can get here. There are only two ships within range, and they seem to be engaged in battle. One of them has the markings of a space pirate. Well, we hate pirates! We're the Federation ship! How can we have our side with pirates now? We power up our weapons and engage the pirate ship. Those pirates won't know what hit them. They've got an EMP and a one-shot laser. That should actually be completely no problem to me with my two shields. Yep, I literally have nothing to fear, so I'm not going to use any rockets here if I can help it, because honestly, there's no point. We'll punch this guy in the shields now to make both of my next shots hit, if I can help it. Maybe I'll use a Leto missile to blast out the rest of the shields. We'll have to see how that goes. Hit him, hit him. Uh, yeah, not going fast enough. Alright, shoot him with a rocket. Okay, now we can wreck the shields. Double shots, and they're on fire. Fantastic. Everyone loves everything being on fire. And they're gonna die in the next hit. Thank you, beam. That artillery beam is a fantastic weapon. It makes things so much easier. Defies shields. That's the best part. You just fry through everything. Here we go. Um, two fuel, one drone part, and 18 scrap. We hasten to contact our civilian ship. What do they have to say? They respond, It's a good thing you came when you did. We'd be dead now otherwise. I'm a shipwright, and I'd like, <laughs> I'd like to help you like you helped me. The captain offers to install a piece of equipment on our ship. Eleven scrap and a small bomb. Thank you very much, sir. This is not going to be a super effective weapon, although it may actually be better than our Leto. I'm not convinced at the moment, but it could be better. The other great thing about it is that we can sell it for free money. We're two scrap short of the power bar we need to power this thing up, but for the moment we're going to buy the artillery beam upgrade anyway, take the energy bar back out of our engine, and put it into our artillery beam, because ten seconds less recharge sounds good to me. Let's go jump again and see what we can't find now. Alright. Here we go. There's a black market hub here. We receive a message. These are dangerous times. If you have extra military-grade explosives, we'll gladly pay you for them. Just like the drone sales, this is not quite as useful, however, because I do actually use my missiles. So I'm going to ignore this one, sadly. And we'll jump back over this way to make our way forwards. Uh, I could jump here, 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 but I don't like being in that many nebulous spots. So we're just going to try and stay out of them if we can. Here we go. We detect an automated ship nearby. It does not engage and seems to be patrolling around a long-range sensor station. We'll get some map data if we fight this guy, so let's fight him. Attack the automated ship to get the sensor data. They've got two single-shot hull lasers from the looks of it, so I don't even need to worry about them. I'm just going to try and shoot them. They can shoot me all they want. They can't hurt me. And that, people, that right there is why we wanted that double shield layer. A whole pile of enemies in the first couple areas just can't hurt you at all, if that's how you are set up. Alright, let's hit them right in the helm! And our artillery beam is just about charged, and I should finish them off in a second. I might have to finish them off afterwards. They'd have to get every room to kill it. Yeah, okay. Wishful thinking. But I get an easy kill now! Thank you, artillery beam, for handing them to me on a silver platter. Done, done, and done. So what do we get? Eleven scrap and some map details from the recent area. Let's see if we have any storms in the area, but first, let's power up those engines again. Well, uh, any storms nearby? No, well, that's a, uh, a sun. That's not where we want to be, and that's an electrical storm, so we're not going there either. Unfortunately. <laughs> let's, uh, I guess we'll just go here and then out. Not, not quite as ideal use of my space, though. Maybe we'll jump around in this part of the nebula, because there's no electrical storms in there, and that's really what I'm afraid of in nebulas. Hello. It appears an automated Rebel Scout was positioned within the nebula to warn of my passing. It's powering up his FTL drive. If it gets away, it will know that warning the fleet of our position. We can't have that. And it's cloaked, too, like a jerk. That's not good. This can actually be a bit troublesome. However, it also has no shields, so I can basically just do whatever I please. Once it reveals itself, and I actually have the time to shoot. Let's, uh, hit it in the helm, first of all, because that will be able to take out its ability to maneuver, actually. I guess I'm both of our first shots should go for the helm. Otherwise, uh, we may not be able to destroy it. There we go. There we go. Problem solved. I should not need to use any more missiles. I gotta conserve them, otherwise I'm gonna run out. That's a big problem here. Ah, cloaks itself. Classic, really annoying ploy. You can't hurt me, but I can't hurt you. Once you're visible again, artillery beam or this laser is gonna kill you. One of those two, whichever charges first. Whichever charges first. And it looks like the dual lasers take it. One, two, and they are down. And the laser comes in to add insult to injury. The 
ship breaks apart and we feel relief in the knowledge that we will hopefully still be one step ahead of the fleet. We got 15 scraps and fuel and some drone parts. Not bad, not bad. Let's jump up here, over here, and over there. And they're advancing much slower because we're in an unexpected nebula. Let's jump this one. Okay, hello. A mantis ship hails you through the storm. These are sacred... <laughs> Clan hunting grounds. You are prey. Shields up. I have no idea how you're supposed to pronounce that, but I like my method. <laughs> That's probably a dual laser. Or not dual laser, a uh, burst laser. And that's a beam weapon, so we may need to take other weapons this time, otherwise they might actually be able to hurt us. So I guess we'll lead out their missile, their, their weapons, and we'll dual laser the shields. The thing is here, I honestly don't see how dual lasers are much different than burst laser mark ones. Burst laser mark ones take one energy to use and fire two lasers. This takes one energy to use and, well, it fires two lasers. The difference really isn't that big. Oh, that room's on fire, too! I want to buy my radar soon because it's much more fun to look at the enemy ship. I've watched people running around and the whole you can actually see inside. And there they go! Easily taken down. Too bad for the <laughs> clan. The ship explodes, leaving behind some useful scrap. Three fuel, two missiles, and twenty scrap itself. Very nice. Very nice. In fact, I'm going to buy that radar right now because it's really nice to be able to see inside those ships. So, let's see what we got now. Another crew member would be nice. It'd be good to have someone on the engines to get that extra evade percentage. An interesting thing about the way the characters level up in their skills is that it levels up based on use. So Ebola is highly leveled because I've been shooting a lot. Leprosy, however, is not highly leveled in his shields because I haven't been dodging. I haven't been blocking shields as much with him there. I just haven't been taking many hits. Cholera has a good deal of evasion, but the evasion levels up based on the number of evades you actually get. So, however, does the engines. They, they level up on the same skill, which means that if you have someone on the engines and someone here, they level up much faster than if you only have one person because of the additional evade chance got, you get from having someone on both stations. We're going to jump ahead, though. I'm going to stop babbling more, and we'll see if we can make our way to the exit. More nebula time. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Come to think of it, we're in a nebula. That radar boost doesn't help me anyway. Ugh. Okay. It's worrying that the rebels have penetrated so deep into uncharted space, even if it only is an un unmanned craft. It arms its weapons, and we should do the same. And it also has stealth and a shield. This guy is not very nice. And the worst part is that its second weapon is the rocket. So if I take out its first weapon, it's still going to shoot me in the face with a rocket. We're going to have to hope to penetrate the shields with our dual lasers and the Lido missile. Otherwise, we're going to get hit hard here. Oh, good, the missile missed. That's the dangerous thing about them. They avoid your shields. Unless you can actually make them miss, they're going to hurt you. Aha! Ha! <laughs> that was a terrible noise. Anyway, I'm laughing because now their weapons are offline. So their deadly missiles can't hurt me anymore. Suckers. Now we should be able to take them out at our leisure, especially once our artillery beam charges. These ships are definitely prone to deadly artillery lasers. And kill them, artillery beam. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, you let them get away with it. One health remaining. It must have missed this room when it skimmed past. And that right there is the danger of an auto-aim. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap involving two fuel, a drone part, and 22 scrap. Thank you very much. We've got 22. Let's jump to the exit before we look at any more purchases. I think we need 80 for our next level of artillery beam, which is what we're getting next. This long-range beacon is almost hidden within a nebula. Yes, it was, just like the last one. And there's nothing here. There's actually nothing there. All right, then. Let's jump to the exit. Hello. We're going to go to the NG homeworld of the rock control sector. Going to a homeworld's location is, in my opinion, almost every single time better, because those are the locations where you have the chance of getting new ships. Now, unfortunately, I don't believe you can get the NG, the stealth ship, uh, in the NG homeworlds, unless you have an NG in your crew, but we're going to go there anyway. NG homeworlds it is. Hello. We've arrived in NG space. The fall of the Federation has brought tough times for these robotic life forms, but they're usually willing to help. Alright, let's take a quick look in our updates. Is there anything we want to buy in here? Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's still going to be the artillery beam next. We could go for a basic weapon and another energy bar to use our small bombs, but we just don't have enough rockets to make that feasible. 
And the next level of shields is going to cost us 150 scrap, which is also fairly expensive. So I think we're going to stick with two bars of shields for now, power up our artillery beam, and we'll see how that goes. We also have our scanners now, so that should make things a little bit more interesting in fights. Let's come over to this, just this distress beacon and see what we can see. Hello there. You've followed the distress beacon to a small asteroid belt. You find a small ship struggling to maneuver through the field. They message you. Help! Our shields are down and I don't know how much longer we can last! Try to shield their ship with yours and es escort them out of the field, or don't risk our ship and leave them to their fate. Well, we might take damage if we try and shield them, but let's do it anyway. Ooh! We succeed in preventing them from being entirely destroyed, but your ship took a number of hits in the process. They offer some scrap and the fuel they are mining of the asteroids as thanks. Four fuel, 35 scrap. Not bad, actually. That was a pretty decent reward, considering we took, like, two damage. I'll take it. Alright. So now, I think we're gonna jump here and then jump to the store and see if we can maybe get an NG crew member. Or... I don't know. We'll have to see what's there. You over here, Mantis Com Chatter. Agreed. Next ship is your turn. Good hunting. They don't see you yet. Attack the ship. They ha Oh. This could be very bad. They have a teleporter. They're gonna hit us with two mantises, one of these we are least equipped to deal with. Okay, we're gonna have to hurt them hard and fast so that they get out of here. We're gonna also, they're teleporting into our med base, so we're gonna immediately start venting oxygen out of the room. Uh, that way they're gonna have a harder time actually fighting us. We could charge them in the med bay, because in the med bay you're basically, you can't die because of the constant healing factor. But I like the idea of trying to suffocate them out of there. So we're gonna do that, we're also gonna Lido Missile, oh they have two shields, that could be bad. We're gonna Lido Missile their weapons, hmm, or their shields, I don't know. We can't actually get through the shields with our dual laser. That is one problem with the dual laser compared to, say, oh they stopped attacking it, fantastic. Compared to, say, the Burst Laser Mark II, the Burst Laser Mark II can get through two shields, the dual lasers can't. Oh, and we missed the missile, and they hit our weapons. Not good. Not good at all. We need to get... Oh, no, it's bad. Okay, we need to... We need to... I can't... Hmm. That's unfortunate. I can't tell the... Hang on, if I move this to here, then it'll auto power. Okay. The Zoltan automatically powers the first energy bar, so I have to reorganize my weapons in order to make sure that first energy bar is the missile. I have to forget how those kinds of things work. And, right, that sound we just heard was our pilot leveling up. Yeah, so he has a better evasion chance. They're still trying to get away because their ship is... There's no oxygen in the part of the ship they're in. Close that door. I can't close that one, though. And I guess we're just going to try and leto the shields, I guess. Oh, man, they are wrecking us in there. Our weapons are completely offline, and they're starting to take out our real weapons. So we're going to close off these doors try and fight on the old-fashioned way, because if I don't have access to my health rooms, this could be a terrible idea. An absolutely terrible idea. Let's... I need to get them to recall their crew, but I can't do that if I'm going to keep getting smashed in the face. Oh, I don't know what caused that, but they decided they wanted to get out of there. So, lucky me, they left. And that was the worst artillery beam shot that I've seen. <laughs> Skimmed right across the top there. Only hit three things when it could have hit five. Terrible. Alright, oxygen is now on fire for them. Good. Let them see what it feels like. Oh my goodness, at least there's no oxygen in that room already. I can just vent the air out. Okay. Lead all the shields. We have to destroy those shields right now. Hit them with the dual lasers. Stop hitting me with missiles, dang it. Lead all their shields again. I'm going to be out of missiles in a second, and then we're going to be in trouble. Okay, there's now an air vent hole in that room. They have no oxygen online. We are taking heavy hits here, though. We need to hit them again. Oh, come on, artillery beam! Why do you do that to me? My entire strategy is based on you not sucking. When you suck like that, it sucks. <sighs> the ship explodes, even behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material with two missiles and 26 scrap. We need to go fix that quickly. We also need to close this door, otherwise we're going to suffocate while we try. You were going to get over here, and you were also going to get over here. Quickly fix that sucker. Alright, this is less than ideal a large margin. And we are now suffocating in that room. Get out of there, boys. 
at least until I fix the air. With that little orange outline, it's very faint and hard to see, but if you have it on a probably high enough uh, resolution on the screen, you may be able to see. When you have no oxygen in the room, there's a yellow outline around it. And that's when you have to get out of there, otherwise your people will wind up dead very soon. So we're going to get into med bay, heal up again, and we are going to jump onwards. Uh, so, starting to get a little bit unhealthy in this place. We're going to upgrade our artillery beam again. We still don't have enough energy for that power bar, so we're going to take it out of our engines, put it into the artillery beam. That's a really fast charge. That should make it so even if our main weapons can't get through out of their defenses, we can still do a whole pile of damage. And we're going to jump on. Hopefully we'll have better luck than we were now. You know what? I'm actually going to retire the Lido missile and use the small bomb instead. It's much slower, but much more effective, I feel, than the Lido is going to be because it does double the damage. So, hopefully my theory will prove correct. I'm not going to go to the store now either because, well, I should for the health. No, maybe, well, maybe we'll go there after this. We'll see what we get here. It's always hard to tell whether you should do in these situations. Ah, we're definitely going there now. An abandoned space station circles a lonely planet. A quick check yields semantics for a drone. We bring it aboard. 17 scrap and a defense drone Mark II. Fantastic! Those things are really expensive. And we should be able to get about 50 uh, scrap for it at the store. We don't have any drone systems, so it doesn't do us any harm to sell it. And we're going to be selling our Lido missile launcher too, so... That should be at least a, at least a decent number of rewards. Let's sell... Uh, defense... Oh, only 37? I guess it's the attack, dr attack drones Mark II that give you 50. Sell that for 37 and the Lido for 10. That's terrible. Now, we could get these things, but we don't have drones. Scrap recovery arm... Mm, most scrap you get is like 17, so that gives you one additional scrap. Not really worth it. And a faster than light recharge booster. Not entirely what I'd rather spend my money on either. So we're going to buy our repairs because they're really cheap here. We could buy some missiles, which might be a good idea. I'll buy two missiles. And we're going to upgrade our engines, our, our power. Upgrade our engines again. Yes, yes, yes. And now I guess we're going to uh, save up for another shield layer. Defense is the best offense. Especially when you pair it with the best offense. It's actually offensive. Saying anymore. We see a civilian space station with heavy damage. We receive a message. We've been hit hard by the war. We need more drone parts to speed up our repairs. We'll buy some from you if you have extra. Well, we don't have as many as we did last time, but we will still sell them three for 12 scrap. Free money is always good. Thank you for your business. Thank you for giving me money. This episode is going to be a little bit long. I'm going to try and get through this whole pair of sectors before we jump to the next one. Uh, yeah, I'll we'll save that money for now. Um, I guess we'll here, 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 probably. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how many jumps we have before we actually run out of space. Run out of space in space? Ha 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 Alright, we come across a pirate in hot pursuit of an unidentified ship. We quickly receive a transmission from the pirate. Stay out of this fight and we'll make it worth your while. We can their bribe, which is two missiles, a drone part, and 16 scrap, which is pretty paltry. Or we can try and fight them. However, I'm not sure if we honestly want to fight them. Looking at their ship, they have an overshield, they have two shield bubbles, they have what looks like a big rocket launcher and a laser, a beam laser. They have drones, which means they might have attack and defense drones, making it impossible for us to really get through their defenses effectively. I don't know. Um, you know what? To heck with this. We'll fight him anyway. We got two Zoltan and an NG in there. Oh man, this could be very bad. That's not a missile launcher, that's a shield plater, and they have a laser drone and the normal attack drone in their ship. This could be very bad for us. We do not want to get hit by these guys. At all. So we're going to small... Oh, we can't even bomb through the shields yet, because they have that shield up. We are going to take some hits here. Some very painful hits, most likely. I don't think you can teleport bombs through the shields like this, but we're going to try anyway. Nope. Did a whole pile of damage to the shields, but did not take them out. We do absolutely need to do. Alright, quickly recharge that. Thankfully, we killed the overshield in time for our artillery beam to hopefully wreck a lot of damage in here. Ooh, good hits, good hits. That takes people off where they want it to be. Our small bombs you now take out their weapons. Yes, perfect. Perfect. Now they're not so much of a threat. Now we should be able to return some fire here. Burning, and people running to fix things. Oh, that shield recharged at just the, like, the fastest speed ever. Wow. I'm not going to use any more small bombs. I can't afford it. And their shields are back online. Oh, but I hit them anyway. 
They're offering us a bigger bribe. Uh, four fuel, five missiles, and 14 scrap. The missiles are pretty nice, but the fuel and scrap are pretty paltry, so we're going to keep fighting them till they're dead. We could bomb them, but I'm just going to let the artillery beam kill them off. Three, two, one, and there. Wow, that would have been a big hit. That was going to be like seven rooms. 15 scrap, that's it. I guess I should have taken that off for 14 scrap of some missiles and some fuel. The pirate explodes, leaving behind some garbage. <laughs> Okay, thank you for the aid. I'm an arms dealer that usually only works with rebels, but considering the circumstances, I'll make an exception. Hey, you're telling me you only normally work with rebels? Do you want to get killed? <laughs> I am defending the Federation here. Now, we have some options. We could buy an Ion Blast, which might be a better complement for this stage of the game. It would become very quickly outdated, but it could be very useful right now, and we need to be able to hit through those shields. And this is a really fast-firing weapon. I guess we could buy one. I'd, I'd love to get like a crew teleporter and get in a couple mantises and spam my enemies and <laughs> with my crew, but I don't know if that's really feasible at the moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a uh, ion blast, I think. Give us some more actual firepower. We'll see if that helps. Anyway, we'll buy one. Thank you. We can't equip it yet. It costs too much to power them all at the same time, but it means we can't alternate to it if we have a convenient thing to use with it. So let's jump on ahead and see if we can't make any more progress here. A Federation encrypted signal is being broadcast from a nearby planet. Let's send an away party to investigate. Hopefully nothing bad happens to them. We find a hidden Federation outpost. They message us. Quick, we just got word from a sister outpost that they've been discovered by the rebels and are under attack. If you are still loyal to the Federation, go save them! We get three fuel, four missiles, and 17 scrap. Not bad for an empty sector. And we get a quest marker as well. Da da da. Quest markers up here. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, probably. So we'll go there in a second. Also, we have no, not quite still. Enough to jump to this base. Well, hello there. More drones. When you ask a nearby station for aid, a friendly programmer gives you the schematics for drones. We get 19 scrap and an anti-personnel drone. Very nice. But we can now power. Bling, bling our Ion Blast simultaneously. Ion Blast, dual lasers, and a smart bomb. The thing about the Ion Blast is since it fires so quickly, we're going to start using our auto-fire function after this to keep it firing at the peak rate. Missing, having to constantly pause to make sure you're aiming at the right thing can be quite frustrating. So we're going to avoid it if at all possible. We jump onto our quest beacon and see what we have over here. It's probably a trap, but we'll see. Hello there. It is a trap. We arrive in the sector to see a small outpost being bombarded by an automated drone. This must be the Federation base we were told about. I guess it's not a trap, it's just someone getting attacked. They have an attack drone, they have a uh, ion weapon, they have a big laser, they have a hull laser. Ooh, not good. Not good. Not good. We're gonna start auto-firing our ion blast at that sucker. As soon as our dual lasers power up, we're also gonna be shooting them at the same place. And I haven't decided if I need to use my small bomb yet. I may want to, though. Just hit the weapons with it quickly. Ah, oh, and I missed. And I missed. And they hit me through my shields, or either that or my shields were actually down. I can't tell. And this is the kind of ship that artillery beams are useless against, I forgot. So we are going to small bomb them again. Hopefully we actually hit the weapons this time. Hit them, hit them, hit them. There we go. And unfortunately the biggest laser is the one that stayed online. And we're turning off our aim with a small bomb. Because we do not want to be wasting our time there. This could be bad, but I don't think it will be. I don't think it will be. All I have to do is hit a dual laser through that shield. Let's hang on with that timing there. There we go, now we hit him. There we go. That's a small bomb still firing, I told you to stop. That's one problem with auto-fire, you can wind up wasting resources because things get attacked and you don't really want to be attacked. One of the things I think is really cool about this, uh, the automated ships though, is that they have no oxygen in them. All as a standard thing, they just don't have any oxygen in them. Which means that if you have to try and say a boarding party, or you try and use similar tactics, uh, they call it fire, or you know putting holes to drain up the oxygen, it just doesn't care. It's an automated ship; it doesn't matter. We contact the station once the rebel ship is destroyed. The lone survivor responds: "The base is no longer safe. Let me join your crew, and we'll have the station's drones patch up your ship." Two missiles, a drone part, and 40 scrap. Fantastic! And we got another Zoltan. Very nice. All right, so we're gonna get you over there to fix that. Zoltan, you are now our engineer. Very nice. Very nice. Now we have crew on all of our major systems, and our slug is still fixing that thing. We don't really have a designated engineer. 
if we could get an NG, that would be great, but I guess I'll stick with what I got. Alright, well that's that's much better. That gives us another big boost to our evasion abilities. Very nice. Unfortunately, their name is not going to fit with our themes. We have the Plague, Cholera, Ebola, or Ebola, Leprosy, and Emma. <laughs> I guess she could have been a plague. I don't know who she is or how <laughs> what she's like, but... <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Okay. We're also going to upgrade our engines one time here quickly because... We have a free power bar in there now, so we might as well make use of it for the same power bars we had before. Now, we have two more jumps to make before we're out of here. We should be able to make them... They'll jump us up to here. We should be able to make it in time. So let's jump and see what we have to do. Hello there. An NG ship in the vicinity, seeing you jump in, armed to the teeth, immediately broadcasts its surrender. Subject goal, wealth, NG motivation, survival, transfer of goods acceptable. We can explain that we're friendly or accept their offer of surrender. Now here's the deal. If we accept their offer of surrender, generally you'll get a small amount of reward. If you explain that you're friendly, there's two options. You'll either get nothing, which happens a lot of the time, or you'll get something really good because they'll want to help you know they know what you're doing. We're going to try for that. I know there's a good chance we'll get nothing, but we're going to try for it. We'll explain that we're friendly. The NG seem relieved and eager to get underway. They set off without saying goodbye. Jerks. Ungrateful jerks. All right, let's get out of this sector. That will be this episode wrapped up for now. Let's see here. Long range beacon. Well, we can we can buy fuel. I don't need fuel. I've got 20. <laughs> and onwards to the future. To the NG controlled sector again. A lot of NGs going on around here apparently. Although you know what? I don't know if we actually saw any NG ships so far. We've arrived in NG space once again. The fall of the Federation has brought tough times for them, but they're usually willing to help, as we saw last time. However, before we see what they have to offer, we're going to have to end this episode here for now. I have to say it was pretty productive. We wrecked our way through space and gathered our fourth crew member at last. Now, if you liked the episode, don't forget to like the episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys again next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>